Uh, today we have uh, three job to do. First one is that we will talk about uh, image compression, which is one of the important part for our um, theoretical part of our subject. Second is that we have uh, the second lecture of today. Last part we have talked from uh, Boysan that uh, he will talk regarding the image processing in uh, medical application. Subject is nice, you can see. And third thing is that we should speak about process of sending this test file, uh, which I'm not happy like this, that up to the last second and minutes of the uh, Lecture, I, I should just correcting your uh, task and something like that. We should put some date for that. And if it's not ready from your side, next person should come. And uh, that person will lose the chance. And obviously, about 25, about 100 marks. Means that this task five is this much important. It has 25 marks, exactly 25. Then uh, these three jobs we should uh, consider today and uh, talk about it. Let me first start from image comparison. About this task five, I will discuss uh, when we start the second lecture. Uh, we will see how we should deal with that. Okay. Image comparison and uh, the topics that today we will talk about why and what and how it will work and some fundamental about it. And then with the relation that we have with the data reduction uh, concept, we will discuss and have some review and uh, some talk regarding the data reduction. First of all, let us see that which part from the key stage in digital image processing we cover. We, think we talk about image acquisition, we talk about image enhancement, resortation we talk, segmentation we talk. Morphological is the next work that we will do, and color image. If we have time, we will work on object recognition job and um, representation and description. Otherwise, from our main part of digital image processing, the red part is finished. And today I will talk about image compression. Uh, I think uh, next week also, uh, we have some talk regarding that. And then we go for morphological processing and color image processing. This is uh, the whole scheme or window that we have through our subject. Just I wanted to remind you that where we are and uh, how we should uh, have the connectivity between the syllabus and subject that we review. Let us first start from this picture. Can you see any difference in these two images? Mm, mainly by Visualization, maybe it's tough. Or will not be easily understand for all people to see the difference between these two figures. But really, there are lots of different in this image. What I mean that, uh, let us review about the point that what is image compression? Actually, it's need to reduce the storage requirement and increase the transmission uh, transition efficiency, such as transmission rate and noise immunity. Image compression uh, refers to the process of reducing the amount of data required to represent a given digital image or removal the redundant data or in the other word, redundancy, data redundancy. See, I bring two pictures here, which they have the different with, uh, with each other. The first one, uh, size, oh, sorry. 
first one size is 270 kb and the right size means that the last one is 22 kb uh, let me uh, open the window from other uh, side means that uh, somehow it's happened for you that you should upload your document image passport copy like that but in that they will say that you have the limitation of 200 kb and maybe they also give you some structure that your photo scan should have minimum 300 dpi something like this this is the what we say for the compression means that the software something like photoshop or any other software that you will use to resize the uh, storage that you need in the memory or resize the file size uh, of the image but you will not uh, change the real size i mean x and y direction will not change but little bit the quality will come down and somehow uh, this is not good but it has the main information okay their data redundancy is there but it's not similar as the uh, main photo that you start your job the nice thing in image comparison is that that you reduce the size but you will not lose much more data you will lose obviously but not much more data and still you can analyze the data with that amount of file size this is the job of image compression and one example for that image compression is the process to reducing the amount of data required to represent an image as i tell you and it can have some block diagram like what i mentioned here you have the photo for image as the matrix of x and y which come to one box is compressed and then transmit uh, the channel if you need it to decompress and then you will get the original image somehow you are deal with a, a store and a storage device and then you can recall through the compressed or on the other side you can do it like this suppose i have one image i use the encoder to make it as the beta stream and then if i want to recall it one decoder can do this job and then you can decode the image uh one more uh example i bring that it shows why compilation we know this uh bird's uh photo shows that suppose the upper the upper one is 263k and the below one is 93k but some difference is there okay that they made it and then we can say that storage and ease of transmission it's happened with the this comparison uh sorry co compression work if we want to look for the compression fundamental we can say that this work involves to reducing the size of data files while returning their necessary information and retaining necessary information is depend upon the application somehow in some application you just need uh, main feature suppose think for your image your personal image the main feature or aspect that you should uh, consider when any person uploaded his or her image in the web page is eye distance between eyes uh, place of the nose, shape of the lips, uh, shape of the face, shape of the hairs. Uh, I think something around 10 or 11 features. Rest of the things, something like the background is not important. The rest that person wear is not important. Okay. And um, some suppose more data like skin color. It's not much more important when you in 
upload your image. Maybe also some uh, algorithm use that feature. I mean, the skin of the person. But um, most of the algorithm will not consider the skin uh, image, skin color in the main feature. Why? Because due, due to the different intensity of the picture, it may be very means that it may not be the real real color that uh, people uh, have and also there is one more things that uh, i don't know if they will do in your country or no but in most of the country people wants to have the bright image from their face means that some bright personal image then they will say that photographer man that uh, he or she using the Photoshop and then increase the intensity of the skin. Then uh, we can say that one of the things that in compression it will do, it will not much more take care of your skin color and background and dress. It will start to compromise this area. And then that is why we can say that size of the file change. Uh, Image segmentation methods, which are primarily a data reduction process, also can be used for this uh, comparison as we talk regarding the segmentation part. And we will have some practical section on that with MATLAB in future uh, next lectures. And the ratio of original, I mean the uncompressed image, well, and the compress is referred to as the compression ratio. Then we have one definition that we should see that this is the compression ratio, which shows the uh, ratio between the original and the output file of our image. Then why we need the compression is that Suppose consider we want to have the video image where we need the multiple frame per second. And if we consider just one second of video data that has been digitized at something like 640 by 480 pixel per frame, which is a little bit standard. And suppose you require 15 frames per second for interacted video. Then we need to wait 35 seconds for one cent worth of the video is not exactly real time. Then to transmit one second of interacted video that has been digitized at these pixels, we need 35 seconds. Even attempt to transmitting uncompressed video over the highest speed internet from uh, connection is impractical then some now somehow to uh, use the possibility of transmitting or to have the faster sended data this uh, compression will help us to do the better job okay it's enough for us to know why we need the compression. But what is the general model for this compression? I bring in this slide, as you will see the blocks. And you have the source encoder after entering the image and then channel encoder. Then you have channel storage, channel decoder, and source encoder. Or again, you can uh, have the image. From receiver side, some image compression is standard. That next uh, lecture in the new week we will talk for that. It's uh, something like JPEG based on DCT, JPEG 2000 based on DWT, and GIF, which is graphic interchange format. <clears throat> These are the compression standard that uh, you can uh, see. More detail about this part, we will talk on the next lectures, and you will uh, 
get the proper information about them. Let us continue uh, and just have now, let's go more deep actually for this concept. See, we should remember two definitions. One is data, one is information. Some of or some type of knowledge, data and information are have the same meaning. But what about this specific subject? Let us see. Data and uh, information are not synonyms term. Data, we can know it as informa uh, means by which information is conveyed. Data comparison aim to reduce the amount of the data required to represent a given quantity of information while preserving as much, in, as much information as possible. Image comparison is an irreversible uh, uh, process and uh, some transform used in this is DCT means discrete cosine transform and DWT as a discrete wavelet transform which can do this job. You remember that and I think that the example that I give you about your personal image and main feature or main place that you should take care of them, it's uh, maybe the good example that will give you the uh, uh, proper info. What should be the comparison steps? It's something like this. First, we have input image, some picture processing, quantization, entropy encoding, and then compressed image will come to a picture. Preparation, means that analog to digital conversion and processing part are the transform data into the domain easier to compress. Quantization will reduce the precision at which the output is stored. And entropy encoding will remove the redundant information in the resulting data stream. Image compression uh, Lucy or uh, laws less, it's uh, the topic that we should also see. You know, uh, you know, but resolution or feature should be unchanged for human perception. You know, relative data redundancy or the factor that we know it as the RD of first data sets, it will be calculated from this calculation. One minus one divided by CR, which in that CR we know it as the compression ratio, and as we thought, we should calculate it based on the compressed uh, image divided by the original one. Then N1 and N2 are the information carrying units in two data and set that represent the same information in digital image compression. The basic data redundancies are three main topics that today we will talk about them, about coding redundancy, intrapixel redundancy, psychovisual redundancy. Today mainly we will finish up to end of this uh, redundancy part, and uh, our aim is that to cover up to end of this part. Then uh, let us, have first some talk about data redundancy and then go deeply through this subject and uh, mm, through this subject and then see what uh, what is the parts and which parts are uh, more uh, notable in this uh, branch. Um, I just want to open one more windows for you because somehow it will be mixed in feature subject maybe you will have a specific subject about it maybe you read about it think about also data mining and uh, nice job that it can do for us in the um, image processing you know same problem that now we have for the size of image, 
if we consider the image as the matrix which is is which we know it the image is nothing but the matrix of image what we need is that do some data mining job or some near concept not exactly clear uh, or ex exact uh, uh, process but something like that we need for the image to do the compression data redundancy is uh, the subject that will help us as we talk in uh, image compression and uh, if we want to have the definition about it, we can say that compression algorithm are developed by taking advantage of this redundancy, which is uh, inherent in the data, image data. And various amount of data may be used to represent the same amount of information. In such case, two set of data <laughs> one being uh, large and another being small represent the same information. Then the large amount of data is said to contain the data that either provides no relevant information or simply repeat the same information. This is known as data redundancy, and there are three types that previous slide up, so I tell you interpixel redundancy psychovisual redundancy and coding redundancy. One brief, first I will tell you these three in brief, then after that we will talk a little bit more about them. Uh, let us see what's the difference. Suppose the first redundancy for data is the coding redundancy, which in that it occurs when the data used to represent the image is not utilized uh, in an uh, optimal manner. Interpixel redundancy occurs because adjacent pixel tend to be highly correlated in most image. The brightness level do not change rapidly, but change gradually. And psychovisual redundancy, if some information is more important to human visual system, and other type of the information. That was very brief. Um, let us see two things. The trade of the quality with um, compression, and see that lose less compression information preserving or original can be recovered exactly. High quality, bigger, something like that. And logic compression is only an approximation of original can be covered. It has the low quality and a smaller C. We have the error and size axis here in the graph that I bring. You see the lossless means that the data that you can get it and can be recovered exactly. And you will see the lossy data on the graph, which somehow they have the lower quality and smaller part. Once more, see one nice example about this compression, and then you will see uh, the percentage of stability of the image, 100 to 1 percent, and you will see the size will not a little bit, I not little, but we can say more. I don't know how much it's visible from your side, but when you have the 1 percent compared to 100 percent the quality come down and somehow it's affect the quality of the image for uh, you as the observer of the image. Uh, okay, uh, then uh, let us continue our subject. Yes, data redundancy, we talk about it. Somehow I lost my... Yes. 
Now, how we can calculate this redundancy? It may have uh, uh, as the next uh, part that today we will talk. You know that measure of data redundancy or relative data redundancy and comparison ratio are important. As we talk, let N1 and N2 be number of the information carrying units in two data sets that represent the same information. Then the relative redundancy that we showed with the RD is one minus one divided by CR. And CR we know as the ratio, which is uh, between N1 and N2. Now let us analyze this formula. Which case we can have? We can have N1 equal to N2, and then CR will come one. Then in the other case, if CR is one, RD is zero, it means that there is no redundance data in N2. Redundance without redundance data in N2 means that the comparison and the image uh, input, there is no difference between them. Uh, see the other case that N2 is much more greater than N1, and then CR become infinity, and if CR become infinity, the RD is one. It means that highly redundant data we have in N2. Next term is that N2 much more greater than N1, uh, then the CR become zero. If CR becomes zero through this formula, RD become infinity, means that more irrelevant irrelevant data we have in uh, N2. And then hence RCR and RD lies in the open interval between zero to infinity and minus uh, infinity to one, we can say it respectively. That was the cases that we can have for our data. But let us see the type of the redundancy once more. As we say, we have interpixel redundancy. If an image, the value of the pixel can be reasonably predicted from the value of its neighbor, then the image is said to contain the interpixel redundancy. The correlation statistics, such as autocorrelation coefficients, are used to measure this interpixel redundancy. The next one was psychovisual redundancy. And it's in the case if an image contains some certain information that is less relative important than the other information in the normal visual process. Then image is said to contain the psychovisual redundancy uh, term. Let us uh, continue about data redundancy. As we talked, we had three types of the redundancy. One was coding redundancy. If uh, this uh, coding redundancy is that if the gray level of an image are coded in the way that it will use more code symbols than absolutely necessary to represent each gray level, the resulting image is to set the content uh, containing this type of redundancy, which we call it coding redundancy. Now, well, the histogram of the image is one of the useful tool that we learn, and it will going to provide the means of reducing the codes redundancy. Uh, let us see, suppose, we will take RK be some discrete random variable in interval of zero to one, and it's representing the set of gray level in an image. And no NK, uh, assume the NK, which represent the number of pixels with the gray level of the RK in the image, then, if we want to calculate the probability of occurrence of the gray level, RK can be defined uh, with uh, this formula, PRRK can be the NK divided by N when K is from 0, 1, 2 to L minus 1. 
And if the number of bits required to represent each gray level, uh, RK or LRK, then the average code can be the accumulation or summation between this probability of uh, PRRK uh, multiplied by L of RK, means the level of gray. Let us see. The coding example, uh, coding redundancy example, of suppose for eight level of image, which has the gray level distribution as shown in this table. Then if we want to compute the percentage of redund uh, redundancy in code one, uh, we can see uh, how it's calculated. You see that we have the average length for code one, we have the value for uh, LK as the three, then it's become three multiplied by uh, uh, accumulation of uh, PR LK, which is equal to three. Then the average uh, length for code two will be calculated like this based on the mentioned data, means that the probability of 0.90 that we have, it's here 0.90, 0.25, 21 and 60, which will be multiplied by 2 as the code 2, and then the accumulation of that, which is equal to 2.1. Hence, the compression ratio or, or is the L1 average divided by L2 average, means that between code number 2 and code number 1, which will be the 3 divided by 2.7 as the number of 1.11. And then the relevant uh, relative data redundancy or RD is one minus one divided by CR, which already we calculate the CR and it's become 0 0.099. And if you want to know the percentage, we have 9.1 of 9.9 .9 of data redundancy of the mentioned uh, data. Then the length of the code word, for example, 8 bit codes for gray value image is larger than needed, and coding redundancy is associated with representation of information. The information is represented in the form of the code, and if the gray level of an image are coded in the way that uses more code symbols than absolutely necessary, to represent each grade level, then the resulting image is set to contain the coding redundancy. Coding redundancy. Um, once more, let us uh, review the formula that we have, as we can assume nk number of times that intensity uh, occurs in m by n image and Okay, it will be the random variable representing the intensities. Then the probability of the TK or LK will be like this. And then uh, tau K represent by LK bits. Then the average number of bits per pixel can be calculated based on uh, this uh, mentioned formula. Uh, we can say the fixed length code is uh, mbit, which will be the average of the L. And then uh, we can again calculate the L average of 8 bit and L average uh, with the code 2, uh, which will be the 77.4 of the original data is redundant. It's based on the data which will be provided for us. Um, some more things that we should see, that is the measuring information, which this method from information theory are not limited to the image, but apply to any digital information. Here we use the symbols instead of pixel value and sources instead of image with these uh, steps, which after given the memory, zero memory source of statistically independent random events, means that source symbol of 
aj occurring with probability of p a j when j is from one two three to j and source entropy that we know it as the h with this formula and estimated source entropy for l level image and h is the minimum number of bits per pixel which is needed to code the image these are the measuring information then with them we can have the shannon uh first theorem that it's based on the formula that i mentioned at the top and this shannon looked at group of n uh, consecutive source symbols with the single codes word rather than one codes word per source symbol and showed that h uh, will be equal to absolute value of l average divided by n when we know that l average is the average number of code symbol requires to represent all n symbols group and now if we want to calculate the coding redundancy of two we know that the length of our codes is 1.81 bits then the entropy or h is 1.6614 and uh, we can have this question is there a code attaining the lower bound of 1.6614 uh, bit per pixel or no um and something that you should know that we have some algorithm two main algorithm which we will discuss in the next lecture is hoffman coding and lz lzw coding part besides we should uh, know about some fidelity criteria which uh, we can act on the input image of f x y and have the approximation of f x y prime and we know that both inputs and output image have the size of m by n then root mean square error can be calculated as the ERMS uh, with the below formula and mean square of that as the SNR RMS will have this formula maybe you will feel that this formula is a little bit confusing but no problem just we want to review them I never ask you to uh, <laughs> calculate it in the exam and if you have any calculation I will give you some formula page that they are there and you can use them. Then the RMS error based on the calculated uh, data redundance uh, can be 0.517 and 15, uh, 0.67 and 14.17 as the RMS error in image cooperation then we have the rating uh, system which in that if value is one we have the excellent rating which is that it means an image of extremely high quality as good as you could desire <clears throat> fine uh, is an image of high quality providing enjoyable viewing interface is not object, uh, objectionable. Passable is that an image and acceptable quality interface is not objectable. Marginal is that an image of poor quality, you wish you could improve it, interface it in somewhat objectable. Interior is a very poor image, but you could watch it, uh, objectable interfaces definitely present unusable is that an image so bad that you could not watch it uh, let's again uh, see this uh, part i mean that was for coding redundancy now see the other uh, parts of uh, the redundancy that we have we have interpixel redundancy which this redundancy can be split into spatial redundancy and temporal redundancy, which in inter-redundancy, inter-pixel redundancy, it's due to 
correlation between the neighboring pixel in an image and the value of any given pixel can be predicted from the value of its neighbor, means that highly correlated. The information carried by individual pixel is relatively small, and to reduce this type of redundancy, the difference between the adjacent pixel can be used to represent an image. The, another form of interpixel redundancy is intertemporal interpixel temporal redundancy, which in that uh, it's the statistical correlation between the pixels from successive frames in video sequence. And this temporal redundancy, we can call it interframe redundancy, which is removing the large amount of redundancy leads to efficient video comparison. Uh, for this, we have one algorithm that we call it run late coding. We will see later. Uh, the special redundancy is some histogram form or which ignore the white background and just variable length coding is not sufficient. Something like this we can have in this special redundancy. Then run length algorithm is uh, something that we will discussed during our today lecture is that suppose consider one binary image with this mentioned data which it's cover uh, the representation size without compression and size after run length uh, algorithm will be considered we will talk more about this run length algorithm i have one question here from you which one has the higher intensity in the circle, center of this circle. Which one has the higher intensity? Uh, it may it be the one, so. let us see, let us see. The next redundancy is psycho-visual redundancy. See, I bring the two uh, picture, which is from the same mouse, and one has the 0.5 kb, another one is 0.05 kb. If image will be used for visual observation, lots of information is usually psychovisually redundant and it can be removed without changing the visual quality of image. This kind of uh, compression is usually uh, irreversible. And now, just by looking or by psychological view as the third part of redundancy, you will see that there is no difference between them. But this psychovisual redundancy exists because human perception does not involve the quantitative analysis of every pixel or luminance value in the image. Its elimination is real visual information is possible only because the information itself is not essential for normal visual uh, processing. Now you will see the graph which shows the sensitivity of uh, human eye and suppose some silicon chips, some camera. You will see the peak point is totally different. Even the shape is totally different. Band is little, totally different. And this is why we have the psychological redundancy. We are more actually sensitive to difference between the dark intensity than the bright ones and encode log or intensity instead of intensity. We are more sensitive to difference of intensity in green than red or blue. And we will use the variable quantization, means that devote most bit to green, viewers to the blue. That was the last uh, redundancy uh, section that uh, we can have. And um, I think that till this part for today's lecture is okay.